let's call this a bonus behind the scenes video. I had enough footage from these sessions that we made inside the Chateau Latour Carnet. And I believe that it would have been a shame not to share these images with you guys. So here they are. Some of these images were already shared on my Instagram profile, but the others were sleeping in my hard drive. I guess you already know this by now, why sometimes take different images from different sessions just to illustrate a specific topic theme for a specific video on my, for my YouTube channel. This video will be a mix of two sessions, two completely different sessions that were really hard to set up shooting, photographing performers, dancers, circus performers in locations, places where we would not expect them to be was kind of the motivation of my early work. The challenge of using the space, the location, creating with the physical abilities of the performer to create a visually striking image was really the aim, the goal of my past work. And that was the base of our meeting with Sid and Laura. We didn't have the time to prepare these sessions, so they came in last minute, and once they were on set, we just let the magic happen. Photographing pole dancers was always a challenge for me. Things haven't changed much recently. And last year, I decided to brutally stop any work with pole dancers. I wasn't enjoying it anymore, you know, all the preparation, the time it takes to set up, to move the pole around, everything around making great images with pole dancers was just too much for me. So every time we have to work quickly, almost in a hurry. So if we want to make a series of photos, we have to oversimplify our ideas or concepts. If you want to make something a little bit more interesting, a little more complex, then you will have to take your time and you will only be able to make maybe two or three images. If it's a commercial shoot for a company or a brand, then I will, I would gladly put in the work, no problem. But usually for these kind of images, the performers, pole dancers will contact me directly and they don't have that kind of money. So it's really hard for me to propose something interesting with a really, really tight budget. So that's why you don't see them in my feed anymore. So this session was kind of a the goodbye to an era. We didn't make a lot of images, but this particular session reminded me why I used to love photographing these performers and why recently I decided to stop. <laughs> Sid is notoriously known for her quirky personality and of course her amazing outfits so we had to do a few portraits mermaid style.
second performer that joined us is someone that has already worked with me in the past and someone who is used to my obsession with colored smoke grenades. not sure of the weather during our stay so we started with this first outdoor scene headed to the winery and, uh, well, she did her thing. Smoke in a can. I'm, I'm not a fan of these. I tried them during several shoots, even recently and I decided to stop. It does do the trick in small spaces, but I can't seem to have that texture that I'm looking for with these. I mentioned this already in the past in previous videos. The content that I share on this YouTube channel usually are from sessions where I tested concepts, ideas, gear, you know, just having fun. Basically, this allows me to reduce the chances of making mistakes on a real photo shoot with a client. It was really great to create in these two castles. I had, we had a lot of fun and I can officially say that I can now turn the page. I have a little question for you guys. Do you do test shoots? Do you test concepts and ideas before a shoot with a client, for example? Tell us in the comments below. A new gear video is coming your way. I think I found my go-to microphone setup for all my YouTube videos, but more on that next Thursday. Please take care of yourself and until next time, have a good one.